Hello. Welcome to a Friday edition of Mornings with Stanley. It's an afternoon edition. Lunchtime edition, though I had a late breakfast. Had a today next a week from today will be 40 years since I graduated from high school, Stavanger American School in Stavanger, Norway. Now called International School Stavanger, but anyway. <laughs> And they're having a reunion this weekend in Nacogdoches, Texas. And it's not just a high, it's, our school is so small that they invited everybody. It's not just our class, but I'm not going because <laughs> it's just a bad weekend. It's Pentecost weekend, Sunday's Pentecost. And yesterday we had a clergy meeting and we're starting vacation Bible school on Sunday night. and. We have our district conference on Sunday afternoon, and it's Communion Sunday, and I hate to miss Communion Sunday because we have to be an ordained elder to, to do Communion, to administer Communion, so I'd have to find an elder, an elder to do it, and instead of, you know, normally I just have somebody, a lay person in our church, in our, in our um, church preach for me if I'm going to be gone. So it's just all these things. The Pentecost should be up there with Christmas and Easter, in my opinion. So I kind of feel like I want to be there anyway, so I'm not going. But uh, one of the my classmates flew in from California and was staying with another classmate. And so we had a mini reunion. Four of us got together for breakfast in Bedford. And they are going to, two of them are going to the reunion today for the whole. One of them takes care of his mother all the time. and. He's going down, I think, just for the day tomorrow. But so anyway, that's what I did this morning and just got back. <clears throat> so anyway, the place called the Old West Cafe. <laughs> if you want a good big breakfast, go there. <laughs> it's a huge breakfast menu. Good breakfast too. Anyway, so that's what I had for not a good day to start my diet. And I'm gaining my weight back. And I'm trying to stop it. I rode for 30 minutes, had a good strenuous row this morning. I've been doing, since I started doing my um, resistance training way back in November, I um, stopped rowing so intensely. But since I haven't been, um, you know, my arm was working, I was, Today, my arm doesn't have any pain at all. So I'm not sure if it's the steroids I'm taking for another condition or if it's what, but. Anyway, the steroids, I think it's causing me to gain weight. That meat porking out like a pig. <laughs> anyway, Stanley's on the floor. So I'm just gonna start reading. This is Friday of week 50. Who alone has immortality? Two passages of scripture throw a flood of light upon this whole question of the ultimate destiny of those who live and die without Christ and after an adequate chance to change, continue to live in unrepentant rebellion against love. We have looked at them. We must look at them again. The first, who saved us and called us with a holy calling, not in virtue of our works, but in virtue of his own purpose and the grace which he gave us in Christ Jesus ages ago. And now is manifested through the appearing of our Savior Christ Jesus, who abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. That's Second Timothy 1, 9 through 10. Here it is said that the life, that life and immortality were brought to light through the gospel. If you accept that gospel and live by it, you have life and immortality. If you do not accept that gospel, you have death and mortality. Immortality is not inherent in us. It is a gift of grace. When you are in Christ, you have life and immortality. And when you are in, in yourself, when you are in, when you are in yourself, you have death and mortality. The choice is ours, life or death, and is, it is real life and real death. Another passage, and this will be made manifest at the proper time by the blessed and only sovereign, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone has immortality. 
That's 1 Timothy 6, 15 and 16. Here it is said that Jesus Christ alone has immortality. Immortality is not inherent in us. It is inherent in him and in him alone. When we are in him, we have immortality. When we are out of him, we do not have immortality. We perish. Or as another, perish, as another passage puts it, we suffer eternal destruction, self-destruction. Here's our prayer for today. O oh, blessed Redeemer, save us from self-destruction. Help us in every thought and every word and every deed to choose you. Then we choose life and immortality. And we live in life and immortality now, hence forever. Amen. And our affirmation for the day, in Christ I do not look for eternal life. I have it now, a quality of being. Jesus is Lord.